Hello floaties and globe defenders, it's Critical Think and I'm at Patong Beach in Thailand and uh, another beautiful sunset, the best one we've had so far and I've got some fabulous photos, this will be great. Here is my location on Patong Beach. I'm actually seven meters above the waterline which is a useful height for great observations. There is quite a bit of haze in the air and the sun is about to set. Already bad news for the flat earth as the sun is at an impossible elevation and at an impossible azimuth for the flat earth model. Flat earthers can't see this because they are blind to all facts, figures and measurements. A flat earther will look at this picture and never know what is wrong with it. They will look at the tiny bit of side to side horizon and declare it looks flat to me, therefore it must be flat. Here are a couple of fishing boats on the horizon. Again, what you're seeing is impossible on a flat earth. Floodies are too blinded by their fanatical clinging to the pancake fantasy to even begin to comprehend how this picture makes an absolute joke of the flat earth. Here's another shot which shows how high above the water I am. Another fishing boat on the horizon, can't be possible on a flat earth, and a long tail boat in the foreground. Do you notice, all you flatties, how you can see water beyond the long tail boat? Well, if the earth were indeed flat, you would see the ocean similarly beyond the fishing boat. My observation height is seven metres. Not sure of the exact height of that fishing boat, but I've estimated seven or eight metres based on a picture with people standing on a similar boat. So. If the horizon were to rise to eye level, and it doesn't here, you would see water beyond the fishing boat, just like the boat in the foreground. Clearly, we don't see this. So again, this is evidence that the Earth cannot be flat, even if it looks flat to you. When you actually do the measurements, it ain't flat. I know what some of you flatties want to say. Oh, you cannot see beyond the boat because of atmospheric obstruction, or as pea brain would say, atmospheric masking. Well, first, if it was haze obscuring the ocean, the haze would also obscure the horizon. It would not be a sharp line. And second, what you're about to see will smash this idea to smithereens. Here's another couple of long tail boats. And again, see how the water extends beyond the boats? The sun is getting closer to the water. Notice the odd shape, which is caused by different density layers in the atmosphere. Flatties, you try so hard to deny refraction and try to claim light cannot bend. Yet this is exactly what is happening here. Flatties will deny refraction and then they will bring in this magic lensing effect that somehow magnifies the sun while retaining a perfectly round shape. All what you see here is impossible on a flat earth. Impossible elevation, impossible azimuth, impossible size. There's even a visible horizon drop. None of the flat earth numbers add up when you look at reality. This is why flatties are allergic to numbers. If you ever want to make a flat earth a tap dance, just ask a question that requires something to be calculated. Now I have the video of the sunset. As this progresses, you will notice that the sun does not get smaller. Now, according to perspective, if this was a flat Earth sun, it would be much smaller. But it's not, it retains the same size throughout the day. And notice how it retains its spherical shape, except for that squashing because of atmospheric refraction. It retains the same sort of circular shape, except that there's a bit that's cut off by the horizon. This is 
impossible on a flat earth impossible by perspective perspective would dictate that the sun got smaller not sunk down below the ground it's above your head how can it ever go below the ground that's one of the silliest things that flat earthers ever ever claim now look closely at the confirmed horizon drop see that man standing in that long tail boat out there well unless he is about five meters tall the horizon is well below seven meters now my eye level is seven meters above the ground and that horizon only rises to about oh three meters here at the point where that boat is and also there goes the atmospheric haze our pea brain masking excuse because we can easily and clearly see thousands of miles to the sun the flat earth is completely demolished and a sunset such as this renders the whole thing ridiculous this is all impossible if the earth were flat but i know the brainwashed pancake brigade will still continue to pretend the war was not lost long ago and as we watch the sun finally disappear below the horizon we get that zoom out and you can see again that i am up the beach above the water Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.